Okay, so now we've done the checkout. And as you can see, we have three folders, framework, modules, and skins. These are the three folders that we're now going to link together in bar www to create uh, the Chisimba installation. So let's get the terminal back in here. And let's uh, change to the var www directory, which is what our Apache web server uh, expects to find its home page. And we're going to make a directory uh, to install Chisimba into, and we'll just make it ch. Make their ch. Of course, I have to do sudo. Because I haven't uh, chmodded var www to give myself permissions to it. Now let's m let's go cd ch, and as you can see, there are no files in there. Let's go back up one more and make it give everyone right access to it for the moment. No, not without sudo. sudo chmod 777ch. Okay, eventually we get it right. So now let's see the ch. You can still see that there's nothing in there. Let me clear this terminal so that you can see what I'm doing. Now we need to link in the framework index file into this directory. So we do that by saying ln s home dkeach December framework app index.php space dot which means link that file under its own name to the current directory. Now if we do a list you can see that we have index.php there. It's not really a file, it's actually a symbolic link to the file in uh, dkeats, ho uh, home dkeats uh, slash chisimba. Uh, gateway is a flash remoting thing. We don't really need it, but it is there, so let's link it in anyway. Then let's link the classes directory to the classes to a classes directory in var www slash ch. Now we need the core modules also linked in, so let's link in the core modules. Now you can see we have core modules there, so it's beginning to look like a normal Chisimba uh, uh, checkout. Um, there might be some stuff in the cron directory that we need, so we'll link that one in as well. We're definitely going to need the installer, so we'll link the installer in as well. And as you can see, it's now beginning to look like a proper Chisimba checkout. We need the, lib, the library of applications that come with Chisimba, so we link that in as well. And now you can see, there it is, lib. Now, we need to create a directory for skins. And the reason we're going to create a directory rather than just simply link it in is that there are the core skins, and then there are additional skins that you may want to use. So we'll create a directory for skins uh, rather than simply just linking it in because uh, we would end up with a mess if we if we just uh, linked in the skins directory from root from the from the core uh, that wouldn't work very well so let's make a directory for skins let's change to that uh, skins directory and as you can see there's nothing in it right now so what we're going to do is we're going to first link it to the core skins now you can see there they are common, common to echo and refractions. Okay, so that's actually all we need to do uh, to actually get a Chisimba site up and running. We're not going to uh, we're not going to actually do it uh, the linking in of the rest of the skins right now. Uh, we'll do that after we do the installation. 
So let's go up one level, cd dot dot. Now we can see that we're beginning to have uh, the structure of HSMB installation. There is one more directory that you need to create, and that's the directory for user images. CD user images. And as you can see, there's nothing there at the moment. Let's link the default user images into that directory. And now you can see there's default, old default. Now, let's go up one more. Let's go up one more and let's make a directory for our modules which needs to be called packages. So make directory packages. Now you can see there's a directory packages. Okay, so now we're going to change into the packages directory. And as you can see, there's nothing there. And then we're just going to link all the modules into that uh, packages directory. And there you go. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them. So we now have the basis of doing a Chisemba install. Let's go cd dot dot slash dot dot oops slash dot dot to go up to var ww let's chmod yes i know sudo so we've chmodded it uh, to 777 that's fine on a developer machine you wouldn't want to do that on a production machine so that's it we should now have the basis of doing a chisemba install but before we do that Chisemba install, let's uh, very quickly uh, change the Postgres password. So we're going to start <coughs> a Postgres instance. There we go. We have Postgres running. The command was sudo su postgres-c pgsql template1. Okay, now we can issue a change password command. The, the root user, the default root user in Postgres is Postgres. So we're going to change the Postgres password to my usual one, which is dog cat. Dog cat. That's it. Now we can go slash Q. That should be it. That's the basis of what we need now to complete our Postgres installation of a developer machine.